We're going to make a small little crate, a mock crate, and pretend that this is a stained glass window. And this stained glass window would be 14 and 3 quarters by 17 and a half. It's about the same thickness. It's a quarter of an inch thick. This is just called railroad or foam core board or railroad board. And we're going to make this pretend like that's our stained glass window. If it was, we certainly wouldn't handle it like that. <laughs> so, I pre-cut this so it would make it really fast. But what I did is I cut two boards this size that are 17 and a quarter by 20 inches. And this is just real thin plywood. On a 4 by 8 this is called wafer board, OSB board. There's many names for it. And as a big sheet, it's pretty floppy. But as when you get it small, it's pretty rigid. It doesn't bend real well. This wafer board doesn't bend very well. And you can pick this up at Lowe's and Home Depot. What I did is I made some sidewalls. And this is 5 8 inch particle board and 2 inches high. So I already put a couple of them on there. I'm going to do the other two right now, make them go real fast. So we can speed up our video. I'm using the just standard drywall screws. done this so many times, put so many of these little screws into things. The last board we're going to put right in here. done this so many times I can pretty much, uh, as they say, do it, in, do it in my sleep. That fits in there nice and snugly. I'm going to use three on, three on the short side and four screws on the long side. Now we got a tray. Next, everybody's got access to sheets of styrofoam, and if you don't, you could use carpet padding. But I took this and I took the liberty of cutting the sides already, so I'm going to stick a side in there. I like using the uh, styrofoam inside, it's clean, and it really offers a nice bumper for the stained glass window. Now, I used some carpet padding, and this is pretty small, pretty thin carpet padding. Carpet padding comes in a, a lot of different widths. This one happens to be 3 8 And it squeezes down pretty good. So I already cut my pieces. I've got cats that just absolutely love this, so I'm always finding little claw marks on my <laughs> on my carpet padding. This is going to be okay. It'll puff up. That's all right. We'll compress it down this this here with our stained glass window. So now let's start handling this like it was our stained glass window. So we're going to put it in there inside. And we're going to lay it down. And it's just the weight. Of course the glass is going to be heavier than this but the weight's going to push it down nicely. We've got some nice cushioned walls inside of some really good strong sides here. I'm going to put another piece of carpet padding over the top. And here's another damaged part from my Bobcats. And it fits just about flush, although you could see a little bit. Go ahead and cut yourself another piece of this carpet padding, or if you've got some st styrofoam scraps, you can even lay them in there. And maybe you might have a piece here that you could use on the end of, off of a previous sheet or something. Just put it in there. Now at this point, it's just going to compress down. You put your lid on. Remember, this is 17 and a quarter by 20 inch. Same thing holds true. You're going to put your screws in there. I'll just do a couple for the sake of uh, our video.
gives you an idea of what we're doing. This is pretty light. Once you have that window in there, you can write fragile on the side with your magic marker quite easily. You can write fragile glass, fragile glass, fragile glass, fragile glass. If you want to put a handle on it, that's also pretty easy. What I might do, be tempted to do, is add me another piece of wood, either this way or the side way. And then I could literally put a handle on it. You could use some rope, heavy rope, and screw it down. And the reason you want to add another piece of wood is so none of the screws go through this. You could put it in the screws in the end, that's fine. And as long as you're using a narrow enough screw, I'll get a scrap here. If you were to nail another board down here, this is the issue. You don't want this screw that's going to go through this board to go through that one and damage your panel. So you'll want to make sure that the screw that you're going to use to screw this board down only goes through this board and about halfway, three quarters of the way through the previous board that you already got. You could use a cabinet handle and you could carry this like a laptop. I've shipped cases like this. I've gone three foot by three foot to, sh to ship a case like this. You write with your magic marker, and you can tape it down, you can write fragile on this quite easily. And this this is a, a safe crate. I've shaped, uh, shipped uh, many windows in the United States. I've shipped ovals and triangles and squares and rectangles and everything in these type of boxes. If you're going to ship an oval, you still build a, a square, uh, you build a rectangle box to, to fit it as, as good as possible. And then in those corners where an oval would fit, for instance, I'm going to use uh, this piece of Tupperware. Here's one of my little cats that likes to damage the star foam. So in other words, if the oval fit like this, you would cut this area out with styrofoam, the piece that we used inside there, and you would build up these corners so that it couldn't move. It will not be able to move by just building up those little corners with the styrofoam. And then you would still put the carpet padding down, cut it out the same size as your oval stained glass or your round, whatever the case may be. So if I was going to ship this piece, if it was stained glass shape, and it was, then I would make it a square. And I would make it close to the sides of, my, of the box. Obviously this, this box is too big, but we're just making do, get the idea across. You want to make it close, put your styrofoam sides in there so that your window butts up. And then in this little area here, I would cut the styrofoam sheet to make it nice and secure padding. I wouldn't use peanuts and I wouldn't use foam rubber, I would use styrofoam. In other words, what you want to do is create this so that it fits into a sleeve, a glove, a compartment done with styrofoam. And then, of course, you could pad it underneath and on top with the foam rubber. That's fine. But around the sides, I want to I want to see styrofoam. You could even cut it bigger to ensure nice big walls of the styrofoam. In that case, it was going to take four of those half-inch sheets. And then you cut out the circle, put foam rubber down on the bottom of the circle, two layers, put your stained glass, put your foam rubber, and then put a sheet of styrofoam the same way we did this. It's real easy. Don't have to be any more complicated than that. I've shipped, like I said, I've shipped these FedEx, I've shipped them UPS, and most of them, when they're a window this small, or two foot by one foot or whatever, about this size anyway, I ship these through the post office, and I can pretty much ship this window anywhere in America. Well, I've shipped this size window uh, several times in America for $25, uh, even insured. I don't ship packages, I don't crate, build crates out of fear. I think that's really important. I think if you're going to manifest fear, build a crate out of fear, I think you might get some fear. And I think uh, the old saying goes, as a man thinketh, so is he. So if I'm thinking in fear, um, then I'm, I'm not in the right frame of mind. 
I don't build the crates out of fear. I build them out of efficiency. And once I know that my job is done building a nice panel, a nice product, and I've shipped it nicely and very securely, you can't press this in. I think the uh, I think the job is uh, the uh, the case is well suited for the job. I've never had a broken window yet, and that's shipping them in these kind of crates for over 10 years. There's always that first time, but that's what we have insurance for. Don't ship in fear. Build a nice, efficient crate that definitely is uh, high quality, and uh, you got insurance to cover any damage. Bye bye.